Hey guys, this is Daniel from the Arms Family Homestead. As you can see, we got a couple inches of snow a couple days ago. And uh, a common problem we have, and a common problem with uh, a lot of people that probably don't live in the north, is when it snows, which isn't very often, but when it does snow, we don't have a snow blower or a snow plow or things like that. Now, if we get enough snow, I can use my tractor front end loader bucket and push some snow out of the way. But typically when we get snow, it's just a couple inches and it'll snow really good one day next day kind of like today clear blue skies um, it's still below freezing but it starts to melt a little bit and then it'll refreeze and thaw and refreeze you know it's usually not here for but maybe a couple days <clears throat> but the problem we have and i think a problem that a lot of people i know have now our case is a little extreme because of our driveway but with that snow uh, when you drive over your driveway you pack it down and then that sun kind of melts a little bit and then it freezes. So instead of being snow, it's a sheet of ice. And then your driveway is just slick and that ice won't melt near as fast as just powdered snow. So I'll show you the problem that we have and I'll show you, you know, ours is an extreme case. Yours isn't gonna be that bad more than likely, but your driveway can get that coating of ice on it from, from traffic, from driving over it a couple times. I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. Okay, so this is my driveway coming up out of the creek and it goes the other direction you can see the sun's been hitting that so it's melted off on this side it doesn't get near as much sun exposure but what happens and you can tell as we've driven in and out of here a couple times these tracks right here the tracks where the car drives gets really slick you know this was just powdered snow it's just a soft powder it's just powdered snow see over here but on this side it's just solid packed ice you know the first first time or two coming up out of the hill coming driving up the hill it's not a problem but after a while it gets to be a sheet of ice now don't make fun of me because that's not what this is tools intended for but it works really well okay i don't have a snow blower nothing like that because we live in the south as i said earlier most of us in the south don't have a snow blower any kind of snow machine so this right here my leaf blower, leaf blower works great. As long as you come out here and you hit this before it gets ice packed and blow some of that snow away and don't let it get packed down. So come in here, blow that snow off of where you're gonna be driving, blow the snow off of your parking pad where you park your vehicles. If you got any incline at all on your driveway, blow that snow off there with a, with a leaf blower. Works great, gets rid of the snow and it never gets packed down so it doesn't get slick and you can't get out. It's kind of a twofold thing, okay? So you're blowing that snow away so it doesn't get packed down. But the second thing is, the more of that black asphalt or more rock or whatever your driveway is made out of, the more dark um, surface you can expose, the faster it's gonna heat up from that sunlight and it'll melt off of there faster, okay? So if I don't get the snow off of this thing, it can become a really big problem because we can't get our vehicles in and out. It's just too slick. So like I said, this is just a little quick tip to help you maybe prevent your driveway from getting super slick to where you can't get out. I'm also gonna do this up by our house on the garage, in front of the garage, where we've got a concrete pad uh, where the kids play basketball and stuff. It's a lot easier than trying to take a, a shovel or something to push all that snow off of that pad or your driveway. You can just take your leaf blower while you still got good powdered snow and blow it out of the way. Another quick tip, take this leaf blower and blow your cars off. You can blow all the snow off of your car before you before you ever start it up for the first time and it melts and refreezes and things like that. And it'll get every bit of that snow off of your car. You don't have to worry about scratching the paint, chipping, chipping your paint or anything like that. That leaf blower will just blow that powdered snow right off. Fresh, clean car and you're good to go.
Now I know my driveway is on the extreme side and most of most of you out there aren't gonna have this problem. But if you live in the country, you live out away from town, um, you know, you may have some, some different elevation changes on your driveway. Um, and you, you've got to be able to get in and out in case of emergency or, or to go to and from work or whatever it is. And this is just kind of one thing I do to try to make it easier on us to get in and out because it can be inconvenient living where we live sometimes. And this can make it a pain if you're not careful and you don't take care of it right. But as long as you take care of it, it's, it's not bad. So maybe this, this might apply to somebody. I mean, I know all of you aren't gonna have the same driveway conditions and the same, you know, hill kind of driveway that I have to deal with. But hey, it could help you on your driveways if you have any elevation changes at all. Just take that leaf blower and blow that out of there. Because as I said earlier, us in the south, and my glasses are fogging up, can't see you guys. In the south, most of us don't have snow blowers and snow plows and things like that. Just use your leaf blower, it works great. Okay. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's a helpful tip that might, might maybe just help one person out. Just I'm not trying to help everybody. It's not going to apply to everybody, but if it helps one person, it's worthwhile. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do that. We sure appreciate it. <laughs> Come up with some goofy videos, and, but we have fun and it's a good time. So anyways, guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you later.